Obviously, can use the substitution here also, but I prefer one more beautiful thing. First of all, let's change this interval of integration into something else, something which we are familiar to, something which we encountered in the last problem. Yes, from 0 to 1. And how to do that? Like the previous problem, I am doing all substitutions in the right side. So, substitution number 1, where we have to convert this A into 1. And how to do that? Yes, if we substitute this x with a into some kind, some let it be z, then the job will be done. How? When it is x is a, then z will be 1. When x is 0, z is again 0. Okay? So, this dx will be a dz and now let's do the substitution here. This one is from 0 to 1. x is a to the power m into z to the power m. Log of x is log of a z whole to the power n dz a dz obviously. So we are taking this a to the power m plus 1 outside and is doing 0 to 1 z to the power m. Now, now comes the real trick. Rather than going for substitution of this portion, we are expanding it. How? Let me show you. Log of a plus log of z. We can write this portion as it to the power n. Yes, if you are thinking about the binomial, uh, I mean the binomial expansion, then you are thinking right. I am about to do the same thing here. What I shall do? See. Integration will remain here. And here is the to the power n. And the summation of k equal to 0 to n. n c k or we can write it as, as, as it is given in the question. Those who doesn't know this, let me tell them. This one means n c k. Okay? So, then log of a whole to the power n minus k into log of z whole to the power k. And then dz. This is actually the integration is going to be. Now just look at this beauty look at this this is so damn beautiful integration from 0 to 1 then z to the power n then there is a summation so there is going to be from 0 to n for each number here each integer here 0 to n we are going to get one integral so there are n plus one number of integrals so we are going to get n plus one number of integrals here okay and as we all know we can interchange this integral and this summation why it is so like it is a very simple thing. Why we can interchange the integral and summation? Just see here. Like it is integration of uh, so let it be a1 plus a2 plus a3. Let it be something like that. Or we can say integration of summation ai i equal to 1 to 3. And then we can write it in the same way as integration to each of them. And then we can write summation of integration ai. We can write it this way. Similarly, we are going to do that. We are going to interchange integration and summation. Okay. From this step to here, let me show you a to the power m plus 1 and then 
summation of k equal to 0 to n n c k and then what is remaining here x to the power m is common for all of them x to the power m is indeed common so from 0 to 1 x to the power m into log of z oh this is not x this is z z to the power m log of z whole to the power k is not in k and after that dz and when the integration is over there is log a this is constant obviously that's why we are taking it outside in minus k okay and let's finish the bracket okay in the next step what we are going to get First of all, think about this portion. This portion we have encountered in the previous problem and, the, and what we shall get as the solution of this thing is, as we have done in the previous problem, minus 1 whole to the power, the power of log function k into k factorial divided by m plus 1 whole to the power k plus 1 those who haven't seen the previous video just go there it is the solution of this integral okay and then there is one this thing log of a to the power n minus k and then this m c k here the summation k equal to 0 to n and a to the power m plus 1 okay so this is what was our requirement this is a big series that is going to come not not in finite series it's a finite series and this is a very interesting problem i think this is one that is required to be proved i hope you guys have understood it the main trick here lies in this substitution and solving the previous problem okay so I hope you guys enjoying this series. The next video, I'm coming with a far more interesting integral than these two. Obviously, there will be a bit.